Hello lovelies, it's G here with Golden Thread Tarot and I am here to bring you another collective message. How are you lovelies doing? I hope you're doing well. It's wonderful to see you again, okay? And for this collective message, I was hearing you are someone that you know is lying, okay? And I received this message when I was asleep. And I woke up out of a dead sleep and my tongue was on fire, like on fire, like my whole tongue was on fire. And I just kept hearing you or somebody that you know is lying. OK, somebody out there is trying to deceive you or somebody out there is deceiving somebody whose energy you are connected to. And it's major. It's a major deception. OK, and I was hearing that it's probably a karmic person because I was also hearing when I was meditating on it, thinking on this message, I was hearing uh, Cardi B's Co Bodak Yellow, right? And I was and I was hearing, I don't dance now, I make money moves, yeah. And then and then I was also hearing, if you see me, I don't speak. That means I don't fuck with you. I'm a boss. You a worker, bitch. Okay. Uh, so somebody out there, there's a karmic out there that thought that they were, or they have this attitude of, you know. I'm not on the street anymore. I'm not doing that shit anymore. I've made an upgrade. So there's a karmic out there that's willing to fight for, it's really feeling like a connection to a divine masculine or a connection to somebody that they have been monetarily like attached to. Okay. So let's see what we can find out about this. Okay. Ooh, truth is about to come out on somebody. Okay. Ten swords are about to come out of somebody's back. So some, so somebody, somebody is about to find out the truth about a betrayal. Okay. Somebody betrayed you and you're about to find out the, the truth. Yeah. Somebody's trying to hold on really tight though. I'm hearing tight. Uh, uh, what is it? Loose lips sink ships. But I was also hearing the like tight lips. I was hearing like tight lips, like somebody trying to keep things tight lips so that their whole shift, their whole enterprise, the whole thing they got going on right now doesn't fall apart. Somebody's trying to keep a secret hidden so that what they have going on doesn't fall apart. So, wow, yeah, somebody's worried. Not a swords that came out. That came out so quick. Excuse me. Somebody is so worried that the secret is going to come out. Okay. Somebody's six of pentacles. Somebody's trying to find balance in this situation. So, I'm hearing that collective. Collective, you're the six of pentacles over here trying to balance yourself out. And there's somebody on the other side of like opposing you that is really worried. You're either really worried that you're going to find out the secret, or just really worried because they're looking. But they have, how this is laid out though, they have their back turned to you. It's like they're more uh, like focused on themselves and the worries that they're having in their life and kind of looking away from you right now because there's too much going on in their life to be focused on you. And in that meantime, you're balancing your energy out. Okay. Princess of Cups is over here. So somebody might want to say, I'm sorry. Red hair also might be significant because both of these women on this card have red hair. Okay, the world card in reverse. I feel like somebody feels stuck, isolated, unable to move. Okay, this could have something to do with their job. Okay, or um, you collective. Yes, I'm hearing this is coming out for the collective over here. Or in the meantime, are balancing your energy out, putting in that work, like working on yourself. You could be working on a creative project or something. And it's like in the meantime, while this person is too preoccupied with their own with their own shit that's been going on, you know, you're over here like making money moves, okay? <laughs> okay. Nine of Swords. Yes, look, Queen of Pentacles in reverse. Somebody is having a serious lack of abundance over here on their side. Like, ooh, balance. This is some kind of karmic justice. Somebody over here has been taking some kind of balance, either from you or from somebody that was, whose energy is connected to you. And this person, like I said, you know, you're over here making money moves and this person is over here worried in bed, really worried about their financial situation or their stability. Um, they could be worried about their home or, you know, that their finances. I'm literally seeing somebody like looking at their bank account, like watching their bank account, like or like numbers um these could be like subscription numbers or something like that they're watching numbers anyway this person is like sit literally sitting there and as they're watching it the number is just the number counts like going down yeah and on the other side you're over here three of swords in reverse healing you're healing your own healing from heartbreak mending your wounds right and the, that justice is still in the bottom. Something, some kind of scales of balance are 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 
equaling themselves out here between these two parties, okay? Will of Fortune, because it's divine time, it's, it's destiny. I feel like this person over here could be a karmic person, which is trying to, like, stand in your place or steal your destiny or something like that. And while you're over here balancing out, unmending your heart, this person is over here feeling just like... I'm hearing getting crumbs. When I'm looking at this Princess of, of Cups, or, like, this Page of Cups, I'm hearing getting crumbs. Damn. What else? What else is going on over here with this Nine of Swords person? Ooh, look. They were doing dirty. I said it was a karmic. Yeah, with that devil card, okay? They were doing some kind of dirty. And now that's come out. Ooh, and I just heard somebody say, a, like, allegiance to the devil or, like, allegiance to, like, dark a dark energy. Ooh, coming to collect. Ooh, oh my goodness. Let's not go too deep into that. I don't want to attach myself to that, any kind of that energy, spirit, okay. And what about the Six of Pentacles over here? Okay. In the upright, okay. The Magician. So definitely, you're manifesting balance, love, and light, healing your heart, manifesting business opportunities and things in your life. You're spending time right now. Like really getting to like getting to know yourself, getting to know the business world. Maybe you're doing research. Maybe you're taking a class. Either way, you're building yourself up. Okay, you're learning new things, operating in this page. You know this really page of uh, swords. So it's like you're starting off, like starting off anew. You could be starting off anew with like a new mental landscape or a new mental thought process. Really with this balancing your energy out, really feeling feeling a lot better about yourself. Okay, and this person over here, wow. Okay, is in the page of wands in reverse over here, finding out a lot of bad news and just like unable to, I feel like this person was, was unwilling to do the work. I'm hearing cheat. This person tried to cheat their way and make it look like they were doing work, but you can never cheat your way out of the divine. Divine sees everything and divine knows what's in your heart and they know what's in your head and they know what you're thinking and how you're moving. Even when earthly eyes aren't on you, their, their eyes are always watching. And I just heard that their eyes were on God. Okay, that might be significant to somebody. Yeah. Mm. Knight of Swords. And I'm reading this as that betrayal. Yes, look. On one side, somebody is getting a brand new beginning. And on the other side, the moon. With that, the moon and the Seven of Swords. Okay. Wow. I'm hearing, yeah. So on your side over here, you're getting a brand new fresh start, especially in love, I'm hearing. And this person's secrets are coming out. Or this person's secret has been trying to really sneaky, like this moon, like very much so in this moon energy, working at night, working in the shadows, working behind closed doors, not letting anybody know what they've been doing, staying up, losing sleep. And I'm hearing somebody say, it's not working. Somebody is really mad that something they've been doing is not working anymore. And somebody has been doing some kind of traveling, going back and forth, traveling somewhere, and they can't do that anymore. With this world card in reverse. Somebody's being held, like literally physically held back and they can't go anywhere anymore knight of swords i'm hearing having to move slowly having to move slowly okay let's get some clarification on this nine of swords what was that a six of cups and an eight of pentacles in reverse okay so some kind of situation is coming to an end for this person some kind of work that they were doing is not working and while you're over here with the ten of swords in reverse this person is over here with the ten of swords and the upright, feeling pinned and weighed down. Wow. Eight of Wands. Yeah, lots of opportunities. Lots of... Lots of communication. Backlash is what I'm hearing. This person could be going through some kind of social media backlash or something. What is this Knight of Swords in reverse spirit, please? I don't think it works. Thank you.
Five of Wands in reverse. And a King of Cups in reverse. So there's somebody here that's turned cold and distance distant excuse me especially emotionally that's unwilling to fight there's a masculine energy here that's connected to this person that has turned cold and distant and they are unwilling to fight for this anymore are unwilling to fight for this karmic uh, feminine energy over here or whoever the one that's in this nine of swords energy yeah eight of cups there again sorry not eight of cups eight of Eight of um, Pentacles there again, and victory in reverse, as well as the Wheel of Fortune, Fortune, the Wheel of Fortune in reverse, the Wheel of Fortune in reverse, as well as the Five of Pentacles. Wow! In the upright, somebody's feeling left out in the cold. Somebody's feeling just like they've lost some kind of job or something that they were that they were very much so working on. The Wheel of Fortune is very much so turned in, uh, against them in their favor. They're losing. They're feeling very uh, left out in the cold of that Five of Pentacles. They're experiencing some kind of death situation here. Um, and with this Eight of Wands right behind it, I'm hearing like public outreach to like shut this person down. It's almost like this, there's a person over here that has done something and they're like getting like canceled. Like this person could have some kind of public platform or something like that. And there there's like this call here, this call to get this person like canceled. Um, this person could have be lo losing the, the numbers that they're going down could be subscribers. It could be people call uh, like uh, um, sponsorships pulling like their money. But any, either way, it's like these numbers are going down and there's some kind of correlation to these numbers going down and this person's money going down as well. Okay. And the six of pentacles in reverse is what fell on the ground. So yeah, there's a lot of imbalance, a lot of imbalance happening in this person's life. And they're trying to find a creative way to find some kind of strength and, and move back from this. But I feel like for some reason, this knight of wands is giving me this very like, like, um, like a vengeful public or like a vengeful, like there's some kind, there's somebody that's like, the leader of these people who are like going, going against this person or who are, who is like leading like the charge against this person. And it's somebody that is very creative with their speech. That's the night, the night of uh, wands is somebody who's very creative with the way that they speak, the way that they convey their thoughts. They're a very creative person. And this person, whoever they are, is the strength card. Okay. With that night of wands and with the strength card, that this person could be a Leo or they could be some kind of fire sign. Okay. Yeah, but look on the strength card. This person is on that white is on that horse too, right? This horse like charging in, charging in. Wow. Yeah, and this person feels like pinned down. Oh, look at that by judgment, pinned down by judgment. Okay, they're getting very harshly judged by an emperor. Okay, by emperor. Or this doesn't have to be um, your particular divine masculine. I'm really, uh, when I look at this, I heard judge. So like by a judge or, you know, this person could actually be being very judged very harshly by actual like court, like an actual court system for something that they've been doing. And I'm he I keep hearing public outcry. There's like a public outcry for justice, for justice against something that this person has done. Wow. Dang. Three of Wands. This person keeps waiting for like ships. It's like this person is waiting for some kind of um, some kind of help to come in there. To, like I said earlier, loose lips sink ships, right? This person is waiting for their ships to come in, and they're sitting there and they're being quiet, right? They're being quiet, keeping very silent, waiting for their help to come in. I literally am getting like a uh, like you know how. Some people that have attorneys and things like that, they tell them if you get taken in for questioning, like, don't say a word. Like, if you only say anything, only say, you know, I want to speak to my attorney. I can't speak without my attorney present. Like, that's it, period. So it's literally like a person sitting there waiting for their ships to come in, right? Being like, mm -mm, loose lips, sink ships. Like, no. Like, if I say anything, I'm going to implicate myself in something. Ooh. What is... Okay, the moon in reverse, the magician, and the lovers in reverse. 
Okay, the number six is standing out to me, which is about balance. The magician, which is about manifesting. Obviously, it's the number one. And then the number 18 for the moon. 16, 18. That number sequence can mean something to you. could be significant. And when I'm looking at this moon card, I'm hearing wise one. This owl is represented by a wise one that's like looking, bring is like looking under the sur using this moonlight to like look under the surface of the water, right? Because this owl is like flying above, and you can see down here the um, fish here underneath the surface of the water. So I'm hearing like an investigator, somebody is investigating some kind of lies or some kind of secret and it's coming out. This magician is really kind of giving me this, this investigator feeling. Somebody could have, somebody could be rolling over or somebody could have like their lover or their spouse or something like that could be rolling over and trying to testify against them. Excuse me, I just felt like there was something on my mouth. Page of Wands with the universe, which is the, the Wheel of Fortune again. Good news. This person is sitting here waiting, waiting for waiting for some kind of good news or to get some kind of piece of information. See there? That person coming forward. Who is this? Uh... Ooh, with an ace of wands in reverse. Somebody, this could be like a crucial piece of information that like that's coming forward. Okay, that some they could have gotten from somebody's lover or somebody like an ex lover or something. And it's like the investigation has manifested this coming forward. Who is this page of wands? Yes, a king of cups in reverse, right? Like I said, somebody does not want to work with this person anymore, right? That's twice of the king of cups. So there's some kind of masculine energy here that used to be have some kind of emotional tie to this karmic energy here. And they have decided to not work with this, with this person anymore. Tower moment. Ooh, snap. A lie there's a lie that's coming out I feel like this person turned their back on this person because some kind of lie some kind of lie came out we're gonna we're gonna talk about what that lie is okay power some kind of lie came out and now this king of cups is like I'm not working with you anymore that's it that's over with we're you know I'm not on your side anymore somebody's like flipping and like like somebody is singing okay singing like a bird but in some kind of way this might be blocked especially if this person was like like a spouse right like spouses can't testify against each other in courts this person could be going through a divorce or something like that so they can testify against this person in court what is this two of cups here oh. yeah somebody's learning from their past with that nine of wands there I'm going to clarify whoops Okay, and then this came up. This came up off of this deck when I picked this up. So let's see what it is. Worth waiting for divine timing. So that's like the wheel of fortune. Express your love, which is like kind of like a um, like a knight of cups maybe, which is so funny because this knight of cups was just right here. Wow. Okay. Express your love. Honeymoon. Okay. And unrequited love, right? So somebody, no. Somebody is out of this blissful stage. Somebody could have found out somebody did something on their honeymoon or they could have found out as soon as their honeymoon that this person was not on their side anymore. Like really quickly, somebody found out that somebody like, this is like somebody getting married to somebody just so they can't like testify in court against them. What is this two of swords? Nine. 
uh, nine of cups in reverse. So somebody's not satisfied here. What is this? Nine of two of sorry, two of swords in reverse. Spirit, cut it. The fool. Somebody wants a new beginning here. Thank you, spirit. The queen of swords. So now there's a queen of swords involved here that's putting some kind of block in between. In between. What is this person blocking? A knight of cups in reverse. Oh, that's crazy. And a seven of pentacles. There's a queen of swords here. It could be an air sign. Okay. There's an air sign queen of swords here that's blocking an emperor here. Okay. It's blocking an emperor from coming forward with some kind of information here. Knight of cups in reverse. I'm hearing in and out. Seven of Pentacles in reverse, like being impatient, being really quick, wanting to leave, but they can't because this Queen of Swords is putting some kind of block in between them being able to get out of the situation that they don't that they don't feel is like a fruitful situation anymore. It's like this Emperor is like, I just want to get out of here. I don't want to deal with this. But like this Queen of Swords person is like, no, you have to stay. You have to stay and see this through. You're not allowed. Okay. This person could be some kind of defense attorney or something like that. I just heard for this karmic energy, and and this car this masculine might be trying to get away from this karmic energy, or it could be uh, trying to block some kind of information from getting to this judge. Ooh, um, who is this Queen of Swords? The Hermit in Reverse. So it could be a Virgo. And a Five of Cups. <sighs> Somebody who feels depressed and isolated, alone. Too worried about what they've lost. Too worried about what they're, they're trying. Some It's somebody that's trying to stop somebody. Yeah, they really could be a defense attorney because look, right, the hermit kind of looks like somebody that could be like locked in a jail cell. So this could be somebody that's trying to keep somebody from being in this hermit mode, trying to keep somebody from being locked up by themselves, right? In this five of pentacles, uh, focusing on what they lost, focusing on not losing instead. Yeah. So this is somebody, yeah. Emperor, who's this? Emperor? So a ten of wands in reverse and a knight of a knight of pentacles. Absolutely. So somebody that's moving really slow, trying to lay down burdens. Okay. This emperor person is somebody who is really trying to lay down the burdens of this whole situation. They don't want to be involved in it. Okay. Now this person, whoever this karmic person is, has got this person involved with the court system. Okay. And they're just like, I don't even want to be involved in this in this kind of way, right? I just want the situation to end, okay? This emperor person could be a, like a Scorpio. Um, they're just like, I don't want to be here. I don't want to be here in this situation anymore. But they're moving slow. Why are they moving slow? I think it's because of this queen of swords. Uh, the strength card in reverse. So... They're dealing with a lot of insecurity, insecurities, or they feel like they just don't have the strength, like they don't have the power. They literally don't physically, not physically, they don't have the power. Like they're, I feel like they're chained right now. Like they legally binded into the situation. Like they have to be involved in this situation and they don't have the strength to walk away from it because they have to be here. Princess of Pentacles. They have some kind of information that they have to offer in this situation. This could be somebody that has to testify against somebody. This emperor might be being called to testify against somebody. I think it's about this lie. To like bring some kind of light to, to what this lie was. What was this lie? Ace of, Ace of Swords in Reverse. Please spirit. What was the lie? Mm 
Okay. An ace of wands. Like kind of came out sideways like this. It's still landing sideways. So yeah. Halfway between knowing what's going on and not knowing what's going on, having an idea and not having an idea. So I just heard like the speech from like Bill Clinton. It's like, I did not have sexual intercourse with that woman. <laughs> Sorry, you guys. And so now I just, I know this is very, this is a kind of serious subject, but I just saw this scene from the Dave Chappelle <laughs> skits where he's just like, I didn't do it. Please believe me. Please believe me. I did not fuck her. Like I did not have sex with her. Please believe me. Oh my God. Okay. Wow. Yeah. Seven of Wands. They're having to defend themselves. They're very much so having to defend themselves. I did not do that. That was not me. <gasps> Somebody could be making some kind of assault allegations on this emperor. Oh, shit. This just got really serious. Nine of Swords. Yeah. So now they're, this person too is laying in bed, racking their, racking their head three of wands, feeling completely pinned down and heartbroken in the situation because they're just like, I did not do this. Yeah, two of cups. Like we just broke up, but I did not do this. Oh my gosh. Queen of wands. With the justice card again here on the on what's here king of pentacles somebody could be doing this for money somebody did something for money and nine of uh wands in reverse it held them back held them back in a karmic cycle they didn't learn their lesson um because they were really worried about money that justice card is out here again now now the courts are involved now you know the system now look holding up that sword now somebody has gone to the police or is getting like the police involved in this situation. Seven of Pentacles in reverse. Somebody could be trying to say that a child is somebody's when it's not. Or that, you know, somebody did something and, you know, got them pregnant and they're just like, no, like I, I wasn't even with that girl or no, I wasn't even with her. That wasn't me. I didn't do that. Queen of Wands. Who's this Queen of Wands? <laughs> a liar. This Queen of, Queen of Wands is a King of Wands or King of Swords in reverse. Somebody that's dangerous, very aggressive, very like it's some it's a it's a feminine like a, like a feminine person that identifies as being female who is operating very much so in like masculine energy, especially with the way that they talk, especially with the allegations that they're doing. They're also falsifying this, this evidence or this allegation that they have. They are not speaking the truth. Or they could be calling this masculine energy a liar. Two of Wands, somebody that's looking to the future, somebody that's looking at the future outcome of what they can get out of this situation. What is this king, Queen of Wands intent in doing this, these allegations, these false allegations, these allegedly false allegations? King of Pentacles. They're going after this person for money. Holy crap. Look. And that seven of pentacles ended up there in, in reverse, right? I just want you to think about like in this circumstance, how I'm saying like somebody, somebody is like not the father, not the baby, right? So this person is like watering, like the water is coming out and then something is growing from it, right? But it's in reverse. Like, no, I did not do that. Five of swords. Somebody's in some very, a very five of swords energy where they're like trying to competes against other people or compete against like a main like a main female or something like that 
so this very much so feels like a possible like side chick that's coming forward being like he got me pregnant or he's the one right they're going after this person that's twice the king of pentacles came up right there back to back they're going after this person for their money because they have money but there's definitely some kind of false allegations yeah somebody's wearing a mask here or that or they could be going after this person because they're trying to get divorced or they're trying to go through some kind of they're trying to bring a contract to end and this person is like i want your money if i'm going to end this situation i want your money yeah and this person is lying just straight up knight of knight of wands in reverse okay this person is having to defend themselves from going behind bars, right? They're trying. The this illumination is happening here. There's some kind of illumination is 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 coming forward with this nine of of wands here, learning from the past, being outsmarted, outsmarting the trickster is what I'm hearing, out tricking the trickster. Okay, nine of wands. Wow. That's five of swords in reverse. Getting rid of the competition. Getting rid of whoever this is that's, try that's seeing this person who's like fighting against this person. So it's definitely two, two sides here, right? There's a king of pentacles here. There's a queen of wands that's going after this queen, of, this king of pentacles for their money. They're lying. They're saying that this king of pentacles did something or did some, that a baby is, is this king of pentacles, but it's not, or that this king of pentacles did something inappropriate, okay? But the fact of the matter is this person is lying. Whoever this queen of wands is, they're, they're lying about this situation, okay? Ten of wands, they're, they're trying to unload their burdens off on this king of pentacles, or this king of pentacles is obviously trying to unload the burden of all of this and not trying to deal with the situation, okay? There's also uh, this queen of swords here. Who is involved in this situation that feels like some kind of defense attorney or something like that that's trying to stop this person from going to jail or going to prison and this person doesn't want to lose this case yeah five of pentacles i asked to clarify this five of cups and it was clarified by the five of pentacles they don't want to get left out in the cold they don't want to get Abandoned. Abandoned from what? Yeah. Okay. Exactly. The Hierophant, a six, the Six of Wands, and the Six of Cups in reverse. Victory, losing, the end of this situation with this hier with this Hierophant character, the end of a marriage. Somebody doesn't want to be left behind. Remember what I said? There's somebody here that's saying that a child is somebody. So there's a child involved here, right? So there is a defense attorney, I feel like, that's defending the Queen of Wands here. That's like, it's not fair. The situation ha shouldn't have to come to an end. These people, this person does not want victory and they do not want the situation to come to an end because they are trying to keep... Um, I'm hearing they're trying to stop an annulment from happening or trying to stop some kind of end of some kind of contract from happening here between these two people, I feel like, so that this woman and this child don't get left out in the cold or don't feel abandoned. Um, um, I don't know where I heard that this Queen of Swords um, could be paying for the defense, could be paying for... Uh, Could be, they could be related. So either this queen of wand, queen of swords, is the attorney or like the the legal representation of this queen of wands, or they are a um the person that's paying for it. It could be like a mother figure. So it could be like the mother of this queen of wands that's paying for their defense. And I feel like 
whoever this queen of swords is, they're really, really, really worried. Oh, I was just about to say, ooh, spirit. They're in this four of swords energy. They're really worried about what outside parties is going to think about this. Okay. And then look what was here. Look, three, three of cups, right? They're really worried about this three of cups, right? Because they're the five of cups too. So this person wants this person to stay out of jail more so where it's like, I don't want it to look bad to the public. I don't want our family to be ashamed. This three of cups, three of cups, three of cups here. Back to back to back. This person is worried about outside opinions, how it would look if this person went through a divorce or this person went through, um, they, they could become from a very religious family, okay? But the, whoever this this um, queen of swords here is, they're in a empress in reverse energy. So they're not doing this from a very loving, motherly, like nurturing space. Um, they're very much so doing this based on outside opinion on three of cups on how it would look if this person got locked up. Um, even if this person is like their attorney, they're, they're less worried about actually defend or like actually getting this person what they're owed. And they're more worried about making sure that they don't lose a case. Seven of swords. Yeah. I just heard somebody say, I go where the money is. Eight of cups. Ooh. This queen of swords, though, could be walking away. They could, some kind of piece of information could come forward that's going to make this, uh, this queen of swords walk away and be like, I can't win this case. Like, are you joking? Look at this. Look what you've done. Right? The whole basis was that he's the father of your child or that he did this. And some kind of information is coming forward where it's a tower moment, okay? That's like, no. This king of cups could be the real father of the child or something like that. Or I'm hearing it could be the father of this queen of wands. Either way... Um, I really feel like whoever this queen of swords is, is going to end up abandoning this queen, queen of wands. It's because they don't want to lose. They, they, they don't want to lose. The star and the nine of pentacles. They would rather be independent by themselves in the enlightenment. Look, and the star is 17. Remember earlier I said 16, 18? 17. This person is going to get some kind of enlightenment. Some kind of bright star moment of healing is going to shine on this person. And they are going to separate themselves, independence, away from this person. But it, it's less like... Oh, I, I want to do what's right and more like, oh my God. Look how this person is like looking up at the sky. They're just like, I didn't know. Like, I did not know. Oh my gosh. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I didn't know. That's what I'm like hearing off of that. Wow. The sun. Illumination. Some kind of illumination is happening here. What's this illumination? What's this star? Okay. Ace of Pentacles. Something's coming forward. Some kind of piece of information. Five, five of Pentacles right there. Ha <laughs> ha. Queen of Wands is going down, bro. That Queen of Wands is going down. Oh snap. What is a star card? Spirit. Yes! Oh my gosh, seriously. Ugh, seven of Wands. Oh yeah, this defense is walking away. Whoever this person is defending, this Queen of Wands is walking away. And they're like, I'm not defending you anymore. I can't win this case. Six of six of Wands in reverse. I can't win this case. I cannot defend you anymore. I cannot represent you anymore. You're joking. Whatever piece of information comes forward, it completely damns the character that this queen of this queen of wands has been upholding, right? And everybody starts seeing this person from a completely new night light, right? In that queen of wands in reverse. And look. Okay. 
eight of uh, eight of swords, somebody that's completely mentally free from some kind of shackles, from some kind of way, some kind of viewpoint they were viewing something, okay? King, now the king of wands, which is the opposing person on the other side of this, is in victory. Wow. Yep. And now this person, ooh, spirit. Now this person, will of fortune in reverse. Will of fortune spins justice come through and spins this will of fortune out of this person's favor ten of ten of swords pinned down so this person could be going to jail not just not just losing this court case but this person could be going to jail five of wands i feel like they're still gonna they're still gonna try to fight That Queen of Swords is done. Queen of Swords is absolutely done with this person. I'm out of here. I'm done. I have no love for this person. Wow. Wow. Ten of Cups. This Queen of Swords wants a Ten of Cups moment here. Three, three of Wands. Two of Pentacles in reverse and the Three of Cups. It's like whatever, whatever justice, whatever kind of social outcry that was coming for that Queen of Wands person is now turning on this person for defending. Now that the tide has turned, that that social outcry or whatever it is against this Queen of Wands is now turned to the person that's defending them. And they're like, I can't. This is too imbalanced in the situation now, right? All these ships are coming in. I get, I'm getting all these emails. I'm getting all these notifications, all these people. My clients are dropping me, walking away from me, right? Like I have to go. I have to stay in this Ten of Cups, right? I have to stay where I'm getting love, where I'm getting appreciated, where I am getting emotional satisfaction, and I'm not getting that here, okay? This is imbalance. I cannot balance this out anymore. Two of Pentacles. I cannot go up to bat for you anymore. Three of Cups, the public. Public opinion is more important than winning this case for you. I'm out of here. I'm done. I can't defend you anymore. I can't be there to stand up for you anymore. Wow. Yep. Five of Swords in reverse. This con this is over. This contest, this competition, whatever game this this Queen of Wands was playing is over. And they got brought down by their own lie. Because their whole case was built on a lie. On fabricated evidence. Wow. Yep. It was unbalanced. They, too, they tried to make a decision too quickly, too crafty. And I felt like they, they, they weren't, it's like they weren't as smart as they thought they were, you know, like they thought certain people would lie for them. And then thing, when the pressure actually started getting on and like people were like, yeah, I'll kind of say that. But then when it got to court and it was like getting attention, people were like, I'm not going to lie for you about that. Like I could literally go to jail for lying for you. Like I don't, we're not that close friends. We're not, it's not like that. You know, I'm not getting locked up because you want to steal the money from old dude. Like, no, you're not even going to get that much money. And it looks like you're winning your court case. It looks like you're losing this court case. Like I was on your side when I thought you were going to win. But now it looks like you're going to lose. Like I'm out of here. Yeah. Seven of cups. So there's still so this person. Whoever this queen of wands is, though, it's not about winning anymore. It's not about winning the court case, getting the money. It's like, I can't be wrong. I can't be proved wrong, right? They're delusional. Or people are telling this person, you're delusional. Like, you need to give this up. You need to walk away from that. This person is getting all kind of advice that they need to separate themselves away from, from this lie. That they need to come forward and tell the truth about whatever the fuck it is they've been lying about. And they're just like, no, no, no. Yeah. Temperance. They're completely imbalanced in this situation. Like, completely imbalanced. 
right? There is no new beginning with, for here for them. Ace, Ace of Cups in reverse. Nine of, Nine of Cups in reverse. They're not getting. They're not getting what they're asked for. They're just being greedy at this point. And uh, um, this, it's like this person like maybe like one like one court case or something like that, and then they were like. Oh, now I can win all of them. Well, you know, it's like they got awarded some money and then that wasn't like enough. You know, they needed all of it. They needed more and more. And people are like, no, you're asking for too much. Like you're doing the most. And this person was just like, no, like it's not enough. It's not enough. I need more. I need all of it. Um, and people are like, you don't deserve all of it. Okay. Because this person and like people started seeing this person is like it's not about that anymore. It's not about making sure you're you're providing for you and your child. It's just about like vengeance at this point. And it's just like no, like a, like a judge literally could step in and be like you're overstepping your bounds. You're asking for too much. Like you're doing the absolute most. Like absolutely not. Wow. And all this happened in this person's life because they tried to come for you, collective. They should have left well enough alone and left that shit and, and went on about their business. Wow. Hmm. I know. Okay. It's on the bottom of this, though. Your commitment is being tested. Okay, yep. Yeah, this person got tested. And they chose wrong. Damn. So what, what's happening with this, with this karmic, with this Nine of Swords energy? separation yeah so this person is definitely going through a major separation and that could be relationships people friends or whoever that queen of swords their defense is is getting uh is going away from them uh -oh, excuse me reconciliation there's some kind of reconciliation happening for this person though Somebody from their past is coming back. Honeymoon. What else is happening for this night? For this. Uh... For this karmic energy here. What else is happening for this karmic energy here? Okay. Keep an open mind. Wedding. Reconciliation. Honeymoon. They're going through some kind of change in their mind and they want to reconcile and like hold on to like the good blissful moments of some kind of marriage here. I really feel like they're trying to convince somebody to give this relationship a chance. I feel like now that they're losing, now that they're losing this situation or they're this is like coming back against them. They're just like, I'm your true love. We should get back together. Like, let's think about the good times, okay? And so, and they're asking somebody to keep an open mind about going through with a separation, okay? And somebody's like, forgive me, you know, like, I've learned my lesson. Please forgive me. And somebody here is paying attention to the red flags of this person now. Okay. And what about thank you for this emperor for this emperor figure here that was involved here? What about this emperor figure? Okay. So here we have heart to heart conversations. It's safe for you to love. Attraction. Codependency, let your friends help you. And I feel like this, this emperor, whoever this emperor figure is, this king of pinnacles is having a lot of heart to heart, like personal conversations with their friends and family member about how they were very attracted to this codependent energy or they were very codependent on this attraction energy on this, oh, I fell, this queen of wands, right? I fell for somebody who was really attractive, right? And they're noticing their own codependency here. 
and they're wondering like is it safe for me to give this person a chance to give this person a second chance retreat came out pay attention to the red flags i feel like this person is paying attention to the red flags of this person now and i feel like they want to retreat look finances and career i feel like they're no they're knowing that this person is coming back to them because they still have money or because they couldn't get the money that they wanted from some other type of situation what else about this emperor getting to know each other can, kind of came out in reverse staying optimistic and honeymoon in reverse I think this person's like, no, I'm done. I'm done with this. I got to get away. I'm retreating away from this. Engagement. They could have been engaged to this person. Or they could be getting engaged to somebody else. Romantic feelings. Yeah. For, and freeing themselves from releasing their ex. So they're releasing this old past energy, this old codependent energy. They're paying attention to the red flags now. They're they're keeping an open mind about this new love, about a new love that's coming into their life, okay? They're trying to stay optimistic. They're engaging with their actual feelings. You know, they're understanding that your feelings are real and worth exploring, okay? And they're just like, I don't, I don't want... I feel like they're not getting trapped by this thought of, well, think about the good times, baby. Think about all the good times we had. Didn't we have a lot of, didn't we have a lot of fun together, you know? And I feel like they're kind of just like, I'm, I'm good on that shit. I'm releasing this and I'm freeing myself, okay? Wow. Okay. Damn. How, how are you going to try to sue this man or try to do some kind of messed up stuff like that? Try to save somebody's, a ki uh, somebody's kid when it's not or try to take all of their money. Try to do something for all this money and everything. And then at the end, try to come back to this man. Like, what? Like, you are. you are This person is fucking delusional. Like, they're delusional. Oh, my God. Like, what the hell? Okay. And what, what about the collective here? What about the collective energy? What's going on with them? Because we talked about how great they were doing in the beginning. Uh, I really see that this could be your energy that you could be going through. Or you could this could be past energy of that you already went through. Okay. Okay. Okay, definitely. Okay. Unrequited love. Okay. Very soon. And release your ex. Okay. So... Somebody could be coming back towards you very soon. Somebody that you had unrequited love with or somebody that you, an ex that you broke up with could be very soon coming back towards you. Like they, they could be the one in this. Uh, think about all the good times of our relationship. Think about how everything worked out so perfectly with us. That has been coming out in the collective. What else about the collective? Um, a spirit is saying, make the effort to free yourself. Okay. Make the effort to free yourself. Release your ex. Uh, yeah, okay. Focus on playful energy right now. Understand that you deserve love. You deserve better than somebody unrequited love that walked away from you or turned their back on you or ghosted you or didn't want to be there for you. Concentrate on your finances and your career right now, okay? And keep an open mind about flirting, going out there, being on the scene, dating other people. That's what I'm feeling. Is there anything else that you want to say towards the collective? Codependency. Work on your codependency. Um, okay. And this children pay attention to the red flags and healing family issues. Okay. So for some of you, this could be like an ex that you had children with. This could be like a baby daddy or a baby mama or something like that coming back towards you trying to rekindle old things with you again or something like that. Pay attention. This is like the codependency, right? That's like the devil card. Pay attention to who, to this person. Okay. And who they are actually really are. Okay. 
Um, don't let somebody commit you to only pay attention to the good times and not pay attention to the to the day to day realities of what it was like being in an actual relationship with them. Okay, especially if they're tr they're trying to use children as some kind of like like piece to to use against you. Like I know the kids miss me. I know the kids want us to be together. You know, or somebody coming back towards you like the kids miss your their daddy being at their house with them and things like that. Okay, so be careful with that. That's some that's some fuck shit trying to use somebody's kids against them like that. Okay. Pay attention to the red flags with that, okay? Is there anything else? Okay, uh, trust and passion. Go for what you're really passionate about right now. You need to have faith and trust in yourself, okay? If you're really passionate about some kind of project or something that you're working on or some kind of career or something that you're really investing a lot of your time in, Spirit is saying have faith and, have, and, and go towards your passion. Have faith and like make the effort to go forward towards that. Okay, that's where you should be spending your time right now. And with this over here, it's okay. It's okay to be aware that it's good to heal family issues, okay? But just because you heal family issues, that does not mean that the two of y'all have to end up back together. I just want to say that, you know, there's nothing wrong with deciding you want to have a healthier relationship, especially for your kids. That's really good, you know? But y'all can have a healthy relationship without being in a relationship, you know? Getting to know each other in reverse. Yeah, you be careful, okay? Because this person is not trying to, is trying to let you get to know the real them. Or not trying to remind you of the, of the real them. Stay optimistic, okay? And retreat, okay? Some of you need to get away. You need to kind of disconnect for a little bit. Maybe you need to turn off your phone, turn off social media, kind of get away from that. Especially if you're one of the people that's involved in this whole like media storm sort of type thing going on here. Keep an open mind, okay? And stay optimistic, Forgiving and learning. Yeah, forgive this person, but love yourself first, okay? Love yourself for first. Your your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive, okay? Have more self-respect to go. If you've already walked away from some things, your ex is an ex for a reason, okay? I'm not saying that people can't change and people can't grow and can't learn, okay? But that does just because somebody has grown or they have learned or they have faced down their demons, that is not that does not mean that you owe them getting back with them just because they decided to take care of themselves, okay? Just because even if this person really did decide that, okay? And I'm not saying that, you know, it is. If, if you want to give this person a chance and you're being really guided to do that, okay? You know, it is your life. It is your choices. But I am here to offer you the, uh, the other outside opinion that just because somebody, um, like if somebody was dealing with drug dependency issues or dealing with whatever codependency devil energy, just because that person has decided to get their stuff together and really start really taking care of themselves, that does not mean that you owe them being with them or that you owe them a relationship now. Okay, this could have been a person that you walked away from because you were like, you need to get sober or you need to get clean or you need to get your act together because, you know, your kids don't deserve to see you acting this way or something like that, you know, and you walked away and you left. And now this person has come back towards you. Well, I'm clean now. I'm sober now. This and that, you know, it's really up to you. Of course, you know your personal situation better than I ever could, you know, but a lot of people like to make the assumption or I hear about a lot in the tarot world where it's like oh this person this person cleaned their act up that means you can get back together with them I don't have to get back together with somebody just because they got they got their act together maybe perhaps I grew and worked on myself enough to know that I don't want to be with that person even if they are clean even if they did get their act together even if they did finally start deciding to be a decent human being that does not mean I owe them my allegiance now that's not what that means at all that's what I found out to be my personal case. That doesn't have to be, I'm not at all saying that that's the best thing for you, okay? You always know what's best for you, okay? So keep that in mind. But I am here to offer you the other, the, uh, the you know, alternative opinion to that as well. All right. I hope you guys really enjoyed this. I hope this, le this left you with some clarity. Okay. Oh, wait. Sorry. Sorry, 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 sorry. Spirit was like, what are you doing? What are you doing? Your commitment is being tested again and, no and nothing is set in stone. So right? Because I'm not the kind of person that's going to sit here and say people can't change. They can't. I changed. I have changed massively. And if there's one constant in the universe, it is change. That change happens, you know? Okay. Advice. The end of a tough cycle is approaching full moon in Capricorn. Okay. Oh, a new start is coming. New moon. Absolutely beautiful. Expect powerful change. Absolutely. 
brilliant, beautiful. Be bold, make the first mood. I'm hearing a pure and masculine energy here. That applies to you, okay? Um, a win-win outcome is forecast, okay, with a full moon in Libra, okay? Work through your fears, okay? Work through your fears with a new moon in Scorpio, okay? There's going to be a lot of unexpected, powerful change. A new start is coming. They're asking you to work through your fears about, about this new start, uh, allowing something new to come into your life, okay? A personal issue reaches resolution. So if you are one of these people that's been dealing with a court case or been dealing with any kind of like personal issues, especially dealing with your family or family members, okay, that's going to come to a resolution, okay? And you are very close to achieving your goals. Um, is there anything else? I was hearing two more and there's two already flipped. Wow, that's crazy. I didn't see those flip. Okay, so full moon and Taurus, your dreams and your practical plan. So make sure that whatever new start that you're going towards, remember we were talking about earlier about building that business or doing the things, make sure you're doing the practical steps to actually bring that into fruition, okay? Because adjustments are required, okay? Um, there's definitely this whole like face down your fears, uh, have confidence in yourself, make sure you know how to go forward in this, okay? Um, and this reading could resonate really strong with you, especially if there is a Cancer Scorpio, Taurus or a Capricorn involved in any of this, okay? Or this could be this could be your sun sign or anywhere prominent in your chart, okay? And then here on the back, don't let pride get in your way. So there's a uh, there's Leo energy involved in this too, okay? Yeah. So and here the last message is don't let your past hold you back, okay? So that definitely oh oh yes, thank you, Spirit. I forgot a woman and there was Libra energy involved in this too, okay? So you could be any of these signs anywhere in your chart, okay? Or you could just be using these any of the energies of these signs to kind of operate moving forward, okay? You don't have to have these signs these signs in your chart for this to resonate with you at all. But if you do resonate with any of these signs, um, you know that this um is um just kind of a sign or symbol for you in particular, okay? But I think in general, it's like watch your ego, check yourself, have confidence in yourself, move forward, understand that the cap energy in this is that, you know, is that the end of a tough cycle is approaching and, you know, your personal resolution that you, you know, the personal situation that you've been going through is reaching a resolution. So just go forward and um, believe in yourself, have faith in yourself and in the divine, a new start is coming. So expect a lot of power, powerful change. Check your fears, which is about checking your pride and checking your ego, right? Again, um, don't, Sometimes it's good to leave. It's sometimes, most times, it's good to leave past situations in the past. Okay, X's are an X for a reason. The past is a past for a, le a reason. Leave it where it is, you know, and kind of uh, move forward in your present moment. Okay, but um, when you're also thinking about making those long-term goals that you need to be working on right now in the present moment, um, go through this in like a kind of like practical situation. Okay, because there are still some some um, adjustments that are required in this in the circumstance moving forward. Okay. All right. I really hope that resonated. If it didn't, you know, there are other uh, there are other readings out there. Or there are there other tarot readings out uh, out there? Are there very uh, brilliant and powerful tarot readers out there? So you guys check some of those out. Um, if this reading did resonate with you, maybe check out some of my other videos. If you're not subscribed here and you enjoyed this, um, think about um, subscribing to the channel. Um, if you are a returning subscriber, hello. Thank you, lovely. Thank you for being here. Thank you to all my new subscribers and my old subscribers. Whether you're new to the channel or you're a day one, I appreciate all of you all the same. Thank you so much for being here. I'm really happy about all the love and support that you guys are giving me. It fills me with so much love and light and joy, and I'm so grateful for it. Thank you so much, so, so, so much, okay? I hope you guys are enjoying these readings. I hope they resonate with you, and I hope that this message finds you well and full of love and light and abundance, okay? And I will see you next time, lovelies. Bye!